Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name is Matt, and this is part two in the songwriting series. And in the first part, we made our guide track and our tempo map. And in this uh, uh, video, what I'm going to do is, is we're going to start working on part one. So let's zoom in here. I'm going to press the H key and zoom in. And this is the part we're working on right here. And what I want to do is let you listen to this so you under, you better understand what I'm working against. And when I tell you my ideas, you have something to reference that all this, you know, uh, by. And it'll, it'll better help you follow me. Okay, so here we go. This is the guide track with uh, rough guitar, uh, very rough vocals, but it gives me something to work against. Okay, so that's the first part um, of the four the four part song called the journey, and I call this part in the beginning, and it's about the beginning of life. So, what I want to do is, uh, you know, convey that in in the part. I want to I want to try and get that across to the listener that this is the beginning and and all that. It's part of being an artist. And so what I did was I recorded two acoustic guitar parts. And it was really cool to be able to play these, uh, the, you know, record this against the guide track. And with the vocals in there and everything, I didn't have to count, you know, how many bars this beginning piece was and when, when the change was and all that. I could just listen to the vocals and it guided me you know, through the process to, you know, when I make the changes. So all I had to do was just concentrate on playing the best I could and not counting and stuff. That's the, the that's why I like guide tracks so much. So let's just get rid of the guide track. And what I did was I recorded my acoustic and I, I, I put the capo at the second fret. That's what I, I wanted to bring up the tuning a bit, you know, and uh, I used, on one track, I used a, a, a CAD Equitech E100 condenser mic um, about 10 inches out from the guitar, pointed at the, the, the 12th fret. And then here I just used the, the, the bridge pickup in my acoustic guitar and ran that right in. Both, both of them, uh, the mic and the pickup were run into my... Um, M Audio Fast Track Pro. I'm not using state of the art stuff here, believe me. So, this is what I have so far. Eh, pretty good, pretty good sound to work with. Um, it's 
it's pretty tight in timing. There's some places it's off and we're going to fix that and I'm going to show you how to. And there was a couple mistakes that I made. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, but first let's label these tracks, these clips, I should say. And uh, I always like to label them so, because as the song goes forward, um, we're going to have lots of clips and I just want to be able to have a, you know, know what they are. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to add labels to clips and I'm just going to put the same thing as on the track part one mic and right click add labels part uh, oops part one that's the pickup boom command save or control save if you're on a PC okay so Let's go in here and double click. I'm going to double click this clip. And what I have here is uh, a mistake. Right about here it is. And you'll hear it. It's right here. It's a bad chord. Bad uh, chord that I hit. And um, here, I'll let you listen to it. Yeah, it's not a good good chord there. But it's easy to fix in the comp editor. And what I did was, you know, I, I recorded this all the way through and I knew that I hit that bad chord, but I just kept going. And then I just came in here, I went back to, you know, wherever, about right here. And uh, I just pressed record again and recorded it. And that way I was in time, I was in the, you know, in the pocket playing with the song nice and, and tight. and I got, I just put in this chord now. So now I just, you know, it's that easy. I just go up here, click on it, and boom. <laughs> Fixed. That's the beauty of the comp editor. And so we'll go in here and here, what I need to do is uh, I need to use the razor tool to select that part. So I'm going to press the R key. I'm just going to go right here and s oh, I didn't get it right on there. Let's, let's go in here a bit. And let's go to force. And what I want, let's hear where the mistake is here. right here yeah since I have the snap on and we'll just go right to there and then I want the rest of this here and let's see if that how that sounds okay fixed okay we fixed our mistakes using the comp editor command save and now what we need to do is just fix the there's some timing here that needs to be fixed and so i'm gonna go right up here i'm gonna press the h key to zoom in and you can see right there i'm off if we go back in here You can see it's 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 pretty far off. Oh, I'm at 32s. Why am I at 32s? So right here, this is where it needs to be. So I'm just going to go way in there. I'm going to press the 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 um the R key and get the razor tool. And I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. Got to have the snap off though, here. And you can use the S key to turn that on and off. And I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to delete that. Then go back in here. And their Q key. 
And we'll just get rid of this. Boom. Get rid of that. Okay, now we're good to go. And what I can do here is I can grab these both these here, highlight them. Now I'm going to press the I'm going to turn the snap back on. This is important. I'm going to press the option key. And I'm going to go right here to the clip handle here. I'm going to drag these. And what I just did, that's the tempo scale tool. When you get right here, see where that the cursor changes? If you press the option key, it turns into the tempo scale tool. So I can drag this and it will it will tighten it up. So now when we start it, perfect. And we can turn the click on. And now we can just go through the parts of this that are a bit out. So let's listen. See, they're out right here. So we can go right in here, turn your snap off. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just kind of want to tighten it up a bit. So I'm just going to go through here. It's probably somewhere right in there. I'm going to press the R key. And right up here, I'm going to click it. And it's going to give me a cut. It cuts all the way through everything on the track. So you need to be aware of that. It's OK if I cut this stuff up here. I can always uh, join it again. It's no problem. Um, so if I turn my snap back on and I go here, I can see I want to take these two here. I'm going to press the option key. And I'm just going to pop them back here to the right where the, the second bar is. And then I'm going to drag these two. Press the option key. You can see the time scale tool. Pop it right into place. And now we have, it should be right on. See, this one's out too. So turn the snap off. Get it, it, get it in close to it. Yeah, right about there. Press the R key. And we can take this, um, drag this, press the option key, the time scale tool, pop it. Oh, see, I didn't press S key to snap it into place or snap, uh, put the snap on. Okay, now let's do it again, right there. And let's pull this one up, option key, boom. And so we've made three edits and we can listen to the click track and now you can see where it's right on. Eh. And we might do this. I'll do one more here. You know, I'm, I'm not going to have to do every single one. As you do this, it's pulling everything forward and it's scaling the tempo and um, Pro Tools, I mean, Propellerhead doesn't have quantizing, you know, like uh, Pro Tools does, but I have a feeling it's going to, they're going to have it real soon and it's going to be incredible. But for the time being, this will work. Boom. Okay. Let's uh, turn our snap back on. Out of the way and grab these two we'll just pull them back just a smidge pull these up there we go and let's see what we are now When we get to here, these are all spot on. So I'm just going to go through the rest of this track and just tighten up the areas that need it. And then we're going to have a, uh, our two guitar parts are going to be um, in time and a good performance. And then 
in the next video, what we'll do is we'll start developing uh, how, wh wh uh, a good effect for the guitars and uh, get this part one, uh, you know, of the song developing it. And we're going to have some fun. So hope this helped you out and look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.